Hey guys, Matt McMurray with Campus Automotive here in Blacksburg, Virginia, and today we're taking another look at the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W. If you're new to Campus Automotive, we do tire comparisons, tire reviews, and lots of tire talk. So subscribe and hit the bell to keep up. So a lot of you guys have commented about why and how I haven't included the Falcon Wild Peak AT3W in my top list of tires, and at times I've been critical of Falcon tires and said on multiple occasions that I didn't like Falcon. So I thought about it a lot and I decided to take another look at one of these tires. I'm thinking now that since so many people feel so strongly about this tire, I've decided to give it another look. Even Jeep decided to fit this tire on their Gladiator Rubicon. So a couple things that we didn't talk about last time when we talked about this tire is just the value proposition of this tire. So I've noticed in the middle of the road, quality built tires, this is on the lower end of the price scale of that middle of the road tire set. Not only that, but it has a deeper tread depth than any other tire in its class. So that lower price point and that deeper tread depth, that's gonna give you more value. So I think that's why so many people are so much more interested in this tire and really go to bat for it, when it whenever I say something bad about it. So I just brought it in to take another look at it and I compared tread depths with the other tires in this class in the LT segment is 20, 30 seconds of an inch tread depth, which is very deep. Now the problem with that, sometimes that causes a little bit of squirm on the highway, but it's gonna make it last a really long time. So if it lasts a really long time and it's priced really good and it has a lot of you know great features for that off-road driving, I can sort of see why it's so popular. So Jeep, if they decided to use it, that means it meets all the qualifications for them, including road noise, wear, winter performance, wet performance, and look and feel. So this tire is a little bit different like we talked about before. It's got the three peak mountain snowflake radius, so it's de designed for severe snow. Just a lot of great features on this tire. I've softened up a little bit on it, and I think it'd be a great tire for somebody if they really want it. I don't know if I'd really buy one, but I can see why so many people have bought them. One other thing that we talked about last time that I wanted to hit on again is where this tire is manufactured. So there's three plants, one of which is in Buffalo, New York, that manufactures this tire, but Falcon is owned by Sumitomo, which is a Japanese tire company. So a lot of those tires are built right in Japan, either Japan or the US. So there's quality. Both of those countries, anything that they build is high quality. So like we said before, we've seen this tire before, but we can see that this tire has a great tread pattern. We got large voids in between the tread blocks, tons of biting edges, tons of siping, especially on the exterior rib. That's going to give you good ride and handling, but also good light snow and wet traction. Got a heavy silica tread compound. That's going to help you, especially in the rain, uh, with wet weather handling and braking. We talked about the sidewall last time, an aggressive sidewall, you can air this thing down. It's gonna keep the sidewall from getting pinched and cut. It's also gonna let you have some extra traction, like if you air it down to 20 pounds, 20 PSI in the sand, you'll get extra traction from these side blocks. Three Peak Mountain Snowflake, like we talked about before. It's got a rim protector. And remember last time we talked about this cooling rib here to keep this rib cool when you're going down the road on the highway. That's why so many people with three quarter ton and one ton trucks like this tire because it rides cooler on the highway, especially under load, which in turn will make it last a little bit longer and make it safer. So what they're telling us is, is this is gonna keep it a lot cooler. So I just wanted to show you guys that like this tire a little bit of love because I know you've been watching my channel and commenting on how I feel about this tire. I've certainly softened up on it and I think it's a high quality tire that a lot of people will like. If you like what you saw, or you have any questions about what you saw or comments, drop them in the comments below. Hit that like and subscribe button. Have a good day.